चलो यहाँ अभी स्टार्ट कर लेते हैं ठीक है हम रिकॉर्डिंग द लेक्चर लास्ट टाइम व्हाट वी डिस्कस वाज के उसका थोड़ा सा रीक आप दे दें वी हैड स्टार्टेड एक्सपेरिमेंटल केमिस्ट्री एंड दिस इज वेरी यूजफुल व्हेन इट कम्स टू व्हेन इट कम्स टू एटीपीज स्पेसिफिकली एंड बीस पीस में हर जगह कहीं ना कहीं इसका कोई ना कोई काम बाकी पेपर्स में भी होता है ठीक है so uh, but in atps it's very important and you need to understand uh, the tiny bits of information that's uh, associated with each of the apparatuses in the lab and how you're going to use them uh, starting with the first thing uh, the first thing that we did was uh, we learned how to measure the volume how do you measure the volume of solutions so uh, skinner i told you that you use measuring cylinder most of the time uh, it comes in various sizes so that's jo marzi balki sochna hai us size mein aa jayega when you're reading values uh, hopefully you know that you have to read the lower meniscus and the upper meniscus if the solution is colored theek hai and you can't see the lower meniscus then you read the upper meniscus uh, the good thing about uh, a measuring cylinder was that it's it's very fast and easy to measure or pour liquid theek hai if you want to quickly pour some measure some liquid and pour it into another liquid uh, then it would be very fast it would be relatively easy to handle but it's not very accurate theek hai so the, so it lacks accuracy then there was another one which was which we discussed uh, and that was a burit a uh, burit was this thin long cylindrical device which had a tap at the bottom um uh, and it's a it's an extremely accurate device it's very very accurate uh, but it's slow solution pours off drop by drop yani iske bahar agar solution if you want to release the solution into another liquid and you want to react it with another reagent what's going to happen is that the that the molecules are going to come out slowly ठीक है सो इट्स नॉट अ वेरी फास्ट डिवाइस इट्स अ स्लो डिवाइस ठीक है दैट वाज द ड्रॉबैक एंड इट्स यूजुअली यूज्ड इन टाइट्रेशंस व्हाट आर टाइट्रेशंस टाइट्रेशंस आर वी आर नॉट श्योर व्हाट क्वांटिटी ऑफ रिएक्टेंट हैज टू बी एडेड मतलब टाइट्रेशन का सिंपली मतलब ये है कि लेट्स से ये टॉप के ऊपर लेट मी गेट माय पेन टाइट्रेशन का सिंपली मतलब ये है कि अगर ये टॉप पे ना देयर इज लिक्विड एक्स एंड देयर इज अ रिएजेंट वाई at the bottom and the, and the two are supposed to react so and you're not sure ke kitna x add karna hai theek hai to ab aapko pata hi nahi hai x kitna add karna hai to aap tab thoda sa open karoge thoda sa x iske andar add karoge aur phir dekhoge ki reaction complete hua hai ki nahi hua uh to wo trial and error chal raha hoga ke phir aap then you'll see you'll check ke whether the reaction is complete or not phir tab off kar doge phir tab thoda sa aur on karoge taki thoda sa aur x isme aaye to titrations are very helpful and this tap specifically is very help, helpful when you're not sure ke what quantity of reactant has to be added to wo on off karne ka na iske andar option hota hai fir iski we reading kisa lete hain there's always an initial period reading ke top tak na x ko kahan tak bhara hua tha sometimes it's filled up to the top which is the zero cm cube mark but usually it's not filled it's not necessary to fill it to the top to aap top wale mark ko pehle dekhte ho ki the water level kahan tak tha और फिर जब आपने x को पोर ऑफ किया और y के अंदर डाला है तो x का नया वॉल्यूम ऑब्वियसली गिर जाएगा ठीक है द लेवल वुड ड्रॉप एंड इफ द लेवल ड्रॉप्स तो लेवल नीचे आ जाएगा तो आप दोनों वॉल्यूम्स को मेजर करोगे और इस तरह टेबल के अंदर ना इस तरह रीडिंग लिखनी है इनिशियल ब्यूरो रीडिंग एंड फाइनल ब्यूरो रीडिंग एंड देन यू गोइंग टू सबट्रैक्ट द टू वैल्यूज दैट इज गोइंग टू गिव यू द वॉल्यूम ऑफ x दैट्स एडेड इनटू द सॉल्यूशन ठीक है जब ये इज दिस क्लियर yes sir acha phir uh, pipet hai pipet is also an extremely accurate device and also it's very slow because it has a very tiny opening so liquid pours off drop by drop acha problem with pipet is it measures a very specific volume you can't measure any volume pipet they come in different sizes 25 cm cube is one of the most common one that you found in the that you find in the laboratory but it comes in different sizes uh, usually it is 25 cm cube ठीक है लेकिन एक ही मार्क है तो आप इससे एक ही वॉल्यूम मेजर कर सकते हो दैट्स द होल इशू एंड दैट्स द प्रॉब्लम विद द पिपेट अ पिपेट इज अ लॉट ऑफ टाइम्स यूज्ड एज अ ड्रॉपर के आपने ना ट्रांसफर करना है तो यू विल पुट दिस पिपेट इन इन वन सॉल्यूशन इट इज गोइंग टू बी अ सक्शन एंड देयर इज गोइंग टू बी अ सक्शन डिवाइस व्हिच इज नोन एज अ पिपेट फिलर यूजुअली इट्स मेड आउट ऑफ रबर बट फ्रीक्वेंटली इट्स आल्सो नाउ मॉडर्न जो है ना दैट दे दे इलेक्ट्रॉनिक एज़ वेल तो So now you have electronic pipettes as well. 
خیر وہ ربر پریفرڈ فلر ہوتا ہے سیفٹی ڈیوائس کہ آپ لکوڈ جب آپ وین دکشن پلنگ دا لکوڈ اپ تو آپ کے ہاتھ وغیرہ پہ نہ گر جائے ٹھیک ہے سو اٹس کائنڈ آف اے سیفٹی ڈیوائس از ویل ٹھیک ہے وی کین آٹ دیٹ اور اس کو پھر ریلیز کر دو کہیں اور جا کے کسی اور بیکر میں اگر لکوڈ سولوشن کو ٹرانسفر کرنا ہے دین یو ہیو لاٹ آف کنٹینرز ان دا لیب نمبر ون از اے بیکر بیکر از اٹس مینلی یوز فار اسٹورنگ لکوڈ اینڈ سولوشن اس کا کوئی اور کام نہیں ہے اٹس یوز فار اسٹورنگ لکوڈ اینڈ سولوشن بٹ لاٹ آف ٹائمس یو ڈو ریئیکشن ان بیکرز از ویل کہ دو ریئیکٹنٹس ہیں ان دونوں کو کہ لیٹ سے دیز ایکس اور وائی کو ریئیکٹ کرنا ہے تو لاٹ آف ٹائمس واٹ یو وڈ ڈو از کہ یو وڈ یو وڈ ریئیکٹ ایکس اینڈ وائی ٹوگیدر ان اے بیکر بٹ بیکر از ناٹ سوٹیبل فار ریئیکشن فرسٹ تھنگ اٹس اٹ ہیز اے وائڈ اوپننگ سو سو اف یو وانٹ ٹو اسٹر اور شیک تھنگس دس گڈ بی اے لاٹ آف اسپیلیج سو دس وائڈ اوپننگ لاٹس آف لاٹس آف لکوڈ پارٹیکلس کین اسپیل آؤٹ آف ایڈ یو کانٹ اٹس ناٹ سوٹیبل فار کلیکٹنگ گیسز بیکاز اگر گیس کلیکٹ کرنی ہے تو اٹس اے وائڈ اوپننگ سو لاٹس آف موسٹ آف دا گیس وڈ ریلیز دس گڈ بی سگنیفیکنٹ ہیٹ لاس ہیٹ کے ایکسپیریمنٹس ہوتے ہیں دس گڈ بی سگنیفیکنٹ ہیٹ لاس از ویل اینڈ دیر از اندر تھنگ وچ از کال ایسڈ اسپرے دیٹ آلسو ہیپنس ایسڈ اسپرے اس کو کہتے ہیں مطلب اسپلیج کے اندر یہ آ جائے گا کہ اگر آپ نے کوک ایڈ کی ہے نا گلاس کے اندر یو مسٹ ہیو نوٹس کہ یہ ببلس جو ہے نا کوک کے وہ باہر اسپرے کی طرح نا باہر آپ کے مطلب اگر آپ نے بالکل فریش کوک ایڈ اف یو پور اٹ ان ان اے گلاس تو یو ہیو نوٹس دیز ببلس کمنگ آؤٹ تو وہ وہ بھی اسپلیج ہے ٹھیک ہے تو تو دیٹ از نون ایز ایسڈ اسپرے وہ اکثر تو وہ ببلس بن کے باہر ہی آ جاتی ہے کوک ٹھیک ہے اٹ فالز آؤٹ سو اینی ویز بیکر از ناٹ سوٹیبل فار ریئیکشنز بٹ پیپل ڈو یوز اٹ فار ریئیکشنز دا بیسٹ تھنگ دیٹ سوٹیبل فار ریئیکشنز از یور کالنگ اے فلاسک کہ اٹس سوٹیبل فار ریئیکشنز اٹس ایزیئر ٹو اسٹر کیونکہ اس کو شیک کرو گے اٹ ہیز اے اسمالر اوپننگ تو تھنگس ونٹ فال آؤٹ دیس گڈ بی لیس ایسڈ اسپرے کہ اگر وہ ببلس بن کے نہ تھنگس آر فالنگ آؤٹ تو دے گوئن ٹو ہٹ دا آئی مین دا اوپننگ از ناٹ بگ سو موسٹ آف دا ایسڈ اسپرے از گوئن ٹو ریمین ان سائڈ اینڈ اٹس ایزیئر ٹو کلیکٹ گیسز کہ دا ٹاپ کوڈ بی اسٹاپڈ یو کین کلیکٹ گیسز یو کین پوٹ اے میجنگ سرنج ایٹ دا ٹاپ بیکاز اٹ ہیز اے اسمالر اوپننگ ٹھیک ہے جو یہ ایسڈ ہے ام یس سر اچھا نیکسٹ ون از یو ہیو یور والومیٹرک فلاسک والومیٹرک فلاسک ہے کہ اٹس اٹس اگین لائک اے کانکل فلاسک بٹ اٹس کائنڈ آف اے بگر ڈیوائس کہ اٹس اے لانگ سلینڈیکل ڈیوائس وی کین آئی کین شو یو والومیٹرک فلاسک کہ جسٹ گوگل اٹ تو اٹس اٹس لائک اے کانکل اے بگر ورژن آف اے کانکل فلاسک ٹھیک ہے یو کین سی اٹ آن یور اسکرین دیٹس واٹ اے والومیٹرک فلاسک لکس لائک کانکل فلاسک زیادہ وہ ٹرائنگل ٹائپ ہوتی ہے ٹھیک ہے Like if I show you, but apparently uh, my conical flask is like this. So, so it's a uh, it's different to the to the conical flask. As a volumetric flask, what's the purpose? It, it usually has just one mark, which is the 250 cm cube mark, and you can put a rubber stopper on top of it. Its whole device' kind of main purpose is you use it for making solutions. ٹھیک ہے اس کی انالوجی یہ ہوگی کہ آپ گھر کے اندر اگر اف یو اف یو میکنگ میکنگ جوس فار سم بڈی یا پھر ٹینگ یا پھر رو افزا بنا رہے ہو تو تو آپ یو ٹیک دس بگ جگ اینڈ یو میک میک دس بگ سولوشن اور پھر اس جگ سے نا آپ چھوٹے چھوٹے کپس کے اندر نا وہ سولوشن اس کو ڈسٹریبیوٹ کرتے ہو تو لائف کے اندر اس کا یہی پرپز ہے اٹس دیٹ بگ جگ جس کے اندر آپ سولوشن بناتے ہو اور سولوشن کا والیوم ایک ہی ہو سکتا ہے اٹس ٹو ففٹی سی ایم کیوب یعنی فار ایگزامپل یو وانٹ ٹو میک اے سالٹ سولوشن سالٹ بیچ میں ایڈ کرتے ہو اوپر سے پانی ایڈ کرتے ہو پانی جو یوز کرتے ہیں لیب میں اٹس آلویز ڈسٹل واٹر آلویز ڈسٹل واٹر دیٹ از یوز فار میکنگ سولوشن اینڈ کیونکہ باقی جو نارمل واٹر ہوتا ہے دیٹ از کنٹیمنیٹڈ دین یو ہیو اے راؤنڈ باٹم فلاس وچ از اسپیسیفکلی یوز فار ہیٹنگ اف یو وانٹ ٹو بوائل اے لکوڈ تو اٹ اسپیسیفکلی یوز نیچے آگل کا تو یو ہیٹ اٹ 
Uh, then there was another thing that we did was we did uh, we did heating. How do you heat in a lab? Uh, you use a Bunsen burner. A Bunsen burner is an extremely uh, it is you you only use a Bunsen burner if if you, if there is strong heating required. UK Bunsen burner burns at 900 to 1000 degrees centigrade. Uh, now the issue with a Bunsen burner is you can't heat flammable substances. Um, it's like a question, why can't you heat a flammable substance? Why can't you heat petrol with it? Because it will So they catch fire. Uh, the other drawback is that it heats strongly. So it's, it's a very strong heating. So it, it, you can only use a Bunsen burner if strong heating is needed. And the other thing is that the flame is kind of too pointy. And you know, heat, that's going to be very concentrated at a very specific area. So heat needs to be distributed. So uh, what you use next to a Bunsen burner, you also use a tripod stand with a wire gauze on top. And uh, sometimes glass beads are used uh, to distribute the heat evenly. Because the flame, this is, a, this is a very pointy flame and it, uh, it burns those things up. I say, anyways, uh, starting here, there are other <coughs> ways of heating substances. So we're going to look at some other ways of heating substances. Number one is, uh, there's another one which is, which is an electric heater. Modern labs have electric heaters. Now the thing with electric heaters is uh, you can control the heat very well. So very good at So there's going to be a lot of controlled heating plus uh, no flames. So substances wouldn't catch fire if they're flammable. Plus it's uh, it's kind of safe as well. <coughs> Then you have uh, other ways of heating, specifically if you want to heat something gently. Uh, there's a thing called uh, heating. Uh, I said there's a thing called water bath. Now, if you want to provide gentle heating, So for gentle and smooth heating, uh, you use a water bath. What is a water bath? It's like a, it's like a, you take a beaker, beaker or any container, and you put it on a on a uh, on a tripod stand. Beaker. So this is placed on on a tripod stand and it has water in it. And using a Bunsen burner, you, you heat it. You heat it strongly using a Bunsen burner. Uh, now, water ka temperature, that's not going to rise. It's not going to become, well, the water temperature can only, liquid water ka jo temperature, and that's only going to remain in this range. Like, even if it starts boiling, it's going to be the maximum temperature reached is going to be 100. Theke? And the other thing about, good thing about water is, ke water ke na, there's not going to be abrupt temperature changes. Theke? This is a Bunsen burner. Hai. Even electric heater. heater hai. Bunsen burner ka flame, if it's strong, there's going to be an abrupt uh, temperature change all of a sudden. Um, water ka temperature abruptly change nahi hota. Hai, even if you put a water, put a, a pot of water on a on a stove, usko heat karne ki koshish karo. It's not going to it's not going to change abruptly. The temperature is not it's jiti mazi aag laga lo. It's going to change very very slowly. So if I want to heat a substance, hai, let's say there's a there's this uh, test tube and it has liquid in it. 
So if I want to, so I'm going to place this in the water. So the temperature, it's going to be gentle heating and the temperature would not change very, very quickly. So no abrupt temperature changes. Is this clear? Yes, sir. <coughs> so then you have to uh, so heating gana sa purpose. Heating wala kaam to khatam ho gaye. Uh, usse aage jo cheez hai wo ye ke uh, how do you measure heat? Theek hai, that's measuring heat energy, that's thermometer. Theek hai, thermometer and uh, Usually there's just one type of thermometer and that's, that's it. Uh, there's no extra information that needs to be That's very, very obvious. Okay, measuring, this is for measuring temperature. Now, one thing that has to be done is uh, whenever you whenever you're doing a heat experiment, a uh, one source of error, TK, one significant source of error in heat experiments, TK, different types of heating experiments. Only. I'm not going into the detail of the experiments. I'm just apparatus ke point of view. So I'm just telling you the details. So source of error in heating experiments, number one is uh, heat loss. It has to be minimized. Okay, so a lot of times uh, what, I, what, what is done is uh, you can use lead on containers, whatever, you, whatever is happening, put a lid on containers to stop heat loss. Then they are, they are insulating jackets that could be put on containers. Then you can have uh, other things as well. Insulating jackets on containers, or uh, or uh, you could have uh, styrofoam cups instead of using beakers. Just give this up, Chinese piece of styrofoam cups, okay? Uh, they're very good insulators, so they could prevent heat loss. Uh, so there are things that could be done uh, to minimize uh, heat loss. That's the number one source of error. ATP ke dar kya lagta hai iska? Ke how do you improve accuracy? So this is what you do. Um, sir, the insulating jackets, do they cover the entire container? No, not the entire container. I mean, top, obviously, up, uh, but it, it depends on what type of insulating jacket you use. Okay. I mean, it depends on that. I mean, obviously, when we use labs, we use labs for apparatus, we use Bunsen burner. So not all Bunsen burners look like this. Okay, so the insulating jacket will be right? Uh, but it's made out of wool. Us, uska bina wo format different hi hota hai, theek hai? So ye bas ek general word hai. It could come in any shape. Asa then, uh, aage chalte hai, heating ka to humne thoda baat discuss kar liye. Uh, let's talk about, uh, let's talk about gas collection. So there are a few ways of collecting gases. Uh, number one is okay, uh, a measuring syringe. I say, is is there no issue with anyone? Measuring syringe is the easiest way to collect gases. For example, you have uh, as a for example, you have this. Let's uh, draw it. Let's draw a conical flask. And you put a gas syringe in it. T 
ठीक है यहाँ पे ड्रॉ कर लें ठीक है गैस रेंज के पीछे पिस्टल है ठीक है काइंड ऑफ बस इस तरह की ड्राइंग बन सकती है अभी तो यू हैव दिस यू हैव दिस थिंग हमेशा वो बीच में ना ये इस तरह की चीजें पूछेंगे इट हैज टू बी स्टॉप इट ठीक है वो एरर्स वगैरह पूछेंगे थोड़ा सा और सही कर लें एक्यूरेट अच्छा दिस अच्छा नाउ द थिंग इज कि गैस इज गोइंग टू बी प्रोड्यूस्ड इन दिस एक्सपेरिमेंट एंड when gas is produced you'll see bubbles and when you see bubbles the gas would come in and it would push the uh, the piston back i say it's not the piston would start it would start to move back theek okay? hai eventually uh, the syringe will be filled with gas particles theek okay? hai gas particles are going to come in and they're going to fill the they're going to fill the syringe theek okay? hai you can measure the volume of ye graduated hoti hai graduated ka matlab hai ki it has these markings so volume could be measured so absolutely no issues here theek hai measuring syringe is probably the best thing best way to collect gases acha lekin khayal kis cheez ka rakhna padega there are few things <coughs> that have to be taken care of ke ensure that the gas collected matlab uska uski capacity utni honi chahiye matlab अगर इधर से लेट्स से 200 सीएम क्यूब गैस आ रही है और दिस इज 100 सीएम क्यूब तो वो सिरिंज टूट जाएगी एंड द होल अपरेटस वुड एक्सप्लोड क्योंकि जगह ही नहीं है तो इंश्योर दैट कैपेसिटी ऑफ द अपरेटस इज सफिशिएंट as as you have to ensure that the capacity of apparatus is sufficient uh so it can collect gases that's number one uh plus uh, uh the other thing obviously is uh okay you have to as is kind of a gas collection kind of there's going to be one huge problem and that problem is ki uh you have to make sure that temperature and pressure don't change so we what would happen if temperature changes and you're collecting gases ji ye ke gases usually expand so if you if you if your app if your jo bhi aap kar rahe ho na it requires heating to gas ke molecules na yahan pe volume volume change hota rahega theek hai so make sure that the temperature and pressure don't change when you're measuring a volume of a gas theek hai gas volumes change would change theek hai so your gas volumes are going to change uh so you have to make sure that temperature and pressure are kept constant as a second what are the methods of collecting gases number 2 uh there's a method called collecting gases over water now if you're trying to collect a gas over water what what would happen is ki ye baki sab kuch to same hi hai let's say there's a gas coming in theek hai you're trying to collect it to so, as so you're trying to collect as you're collecting you're trying to collect a gas and you're going to do what you're going to do is uh, you're going to take a gas jar and uske upar aap place kar doge theek hai is cheez ko and there's going to be a trough of water ठीक है सो दैट्स द अदर थिंग दैट दैट वुड बी टेकन सो देयर इज गोइंग टू बी अ ट्रफ फुल ऑफ वाटर ठीक है सो दिस इज दिस गैस जार इज इमर्स्ड इन वाटर अप टिल दिस पॉइंट एंड देयर इज गोइंग टू बी बबल्स फॉर्म गैस इज कमिंग इन सो दिस इज हाउ 
gas is coming in and bubbles are forming and the bubbles would start filling up these spaces over here this could be a gas jar or it could be a measuring cylinder as well and all the gas molecules are eventually going to they're going to fill up and they're going to occupy the space over here okay so this space over here is going to get filled so this is collecting gases over water <coughs> now the only issue with this or the problems associated with this particular apparatus is as so a problems associated with this apparatus the only problem with this apparatus is ke uh, uh first thing is ke gas has to be insoluble in water but you can't collect a soluble gas kyunki wo to pani ke andar hi mix ho jayegi so it has to be it has to be insoluble for example hcl hcl is a gas hcl gas hydrogen chloride gas cannot be collected kyunki wo to pani ke andar mix ho jati hai theek hai it it can it cannot be collected because it's very soluble the other issue is that the gas that you are going to collect would be contaminated by water vapors क्योंकि ऑब्वियसली पानी के थ्रू पास करती हुई जा रही है सो गोइंग बी अ लॉट ऑफ वाटर वेपर्स ओवर हियर एज वेल सो द गैस इज नॉट गोइंग टू बी अ ड्राई गैस सो गैस कलेक्टेड वुड बी कंटैमिनेटेड बाय बाय वाटर वेपर्स so it's going to be contaminated by water vapors and then you have uh, so these are the main two issues over water ka theek is this clear javeria and so let's look at number 3 the third way third and fourth theek hai dono ko discuss kar lete hain third and fourth is uh, there is a thing called upper delivery so this upper delivery uh, for gas collection and this is for light gases and then there is a pehle upper delivery discuss kar le upper delivery is ki simply there is a gas coming in theek okay, so is where is this pipe that's bringing in this gas and is going to you going to put a container or a gas jar on top of it any container even a beaker would work theek okay, hai usko ulta karke upar rakh do and if the gas is light so the gas particles are going to come out and they'll get trapped light gases they always try to go upwards theek hai they try to go in the upper direction so as so they would try to go in the upper direction and which is why the gas would get trapped in this this is upper delivery for light gases but lighter compared to what lighter compared to air should be light compared to air theek hai air is 29 wo uski uski mr average mr is 29 so it's, so it's a, it's a very suitable way of collecting let's say hydrogen gas ठीक है हाइड्रोजन गैस इज वेरी लाइट हीलियम गैस ठीक है बलून्स के अंदर भी ये डलती हैं दे गो अपवर्ड्स सो इट्स अ वेरी सुटेबल वे सुटेबल वे ऑफ कलेक्टिंग गैसेस अ द ओनली इशू विद दिस इज एंड द ओनली प्रॉब्लम विद दिस इज यू कांट रियली मेजर द वॉल्यूम ऑफ गैस सो व्हाई कांट यू मेजर द वॉल्यूम ऑफ गैस बिकॉज़ यू कांट इवन सी द गैस इन द फर्स्ट प्लेस ठीक है मतलब ये तो मैंने पिंक बनाए हैं ना कि गैस पार्टिकल्स हैं ठीक है मतलब आई हैव ड्रॉन दिस पिंक डॉट्स कि वो लाइट गैसेस इट्स ट्राइंग टू गो अप एंड इट्स ट्रैप्ड इन दिस कंटेनर ठीक है बट द फर्स्ट थिंग इज यू कांट इवन सी दीस गैस पार्टिकल्स ठीक है फॉर एग्जांपल हाइड्रोजन गैस इट्स अ कलरलेस गैस तो आपको पता कैसा लगेगा कि कितना वॉल्यूम उसने ऑक्युपाई किया वी कांट मेजर इट 
باقی کیسز کے اندر تو پتہ لگ جاتا تھا کہ اگر گیس یہاں پہ آکوپائی کرتی تھی تو واٹر کا لکوڈ لیول جو ہوتا تھا ڈراپ سرنج کے اندر اگر گیس بھرتی تھی نا تو یہ پیچھے پسٹن نا پیچھے موو ہوتا رہتا تھا ٹھیک ہے بٹ ہیئر دا پرابلم از یو کین ریلی سی دا گیس سو یو کین ریلی ڈو مچ اباؤٹ اٹ سو دس از اپر ڈلیوری اینڈ وائس ورس ار از اے تھنگ کالڈ ڈاؤن ورڈ ڈلیوری اینڈ دس از فار ہیوی This is for heavy gases. Um, sir, the container that is used, for example, for in the upper delivery, is it enclosed at all sides? No, it's open at the bottom. Okay. I mean, it's open at the bottom. Okay, bottom it's open at the bottom. Because the gas would, okay. not, would not come out. The reason it would not come out is because it's, uh, it's a light gas. Light gas is always going up. It's going up. It's going up. It's going up. لیٹس سے ایئر کے مالیکیولز ہیں یہ باہر سارے ایئر کے مالیکیولز ہیں ٹھیک ہے تو وہ ایئر کے مالیکیولز جو ہیں اس کو نیچے آنے نہیں دیں گے کیونکہ دس از ا لائٹ گیس تو ایئر کے مالیکیولز لائٹ گیسز کو اوپر کی طرف پوش کر دیں گے تو وہ اوپر سٹاک ہوں گے ٹاپ پہ دس ہاؤ بلون کے اندر نہیں ہوتا بلون کی کیا کوشش ہوتی ہے ہمیشہ اوپر جانے کی کوشش کر رہا ہوتا ہے نا ٹھیک ہے اچھا سو ڈاؤن ڈلیوری از دی اپوزٹ it's going to be for as a carrier container and uh, heavy gas agar aayegi na to heavy gas is going to get it would settle at the bottom aur masla wohi hai ki you can collect it lekin you can't really see it so you can't measure the volume kya aapko hi pata lagega ki bhi itna volume ho gaya kitna ho gaya so you're not sure theek hai so so heavy gases and uh, heavier than air So they have to be heavier than air, which is 29. For example, carbon dioxide, now it's, a, it's a very suitable, well, carbon dioxide is often collected this way. Carbon dioxide, <coughs> uh, well, you can fill beakers with carbon dioxide. The carbon dioxide would not come out. Because it's a heavy gas, it will be stuck on the bottom. Ke upar. Theke, so this is, uh, this is downward delivery. Or... بالکل اینڈ میں اٹس گیسز کا کمپلیٹ کرتے ہوئے ہم کر لیتے ہیں کہ ہاؤ ٹو ڈرائی گیس یا ہاؤ ٹو ریموو واٹر ویپرز فرام اے گیس یا ڈرائنگ اے گیس تو اکثر آپ نے فونس کے اندر یو مسٹ ہیو سین دس دس اے اسمال پیکٹ ان سائڈ but if, if you buy phones or laptops or any electronic device you see this tiny packet this kind of kuch hota hai theek you usually throw it throw it out uh salts hoti hain so how do you dry a gas uh, one way is you use anhydrous salts and hydrous anhydrous salts anhydrous word ka matlab hai ki bagair pani ke یعنی گھر کے اندر جو نمک ہے نا اف یو ہیٹ اٹ اٹ بیکمز این ہائڈرس مین یو اس کے اندر ورنہ مائسچر ہوتا ہے بٹ اف یو ہیٹ اٹ ویری اسٹرانگلی اٹ بیکمز کمپلیٹلی ڈرائی تو اٹ بیکمز ویری ابزاربنٹ مطلب وہ کہیں سے بھی نا مائسچر ابزارب کرے گا سالٹ فار ایگزامپل کیلشیم کلورائڈ از ون ایگزامپل تو این ہائڈرس سالٹ بیچ میں رکھ دو تو واٹ ووڈ ہیپن از کہ لیٹس اے دس گیس بینگ پاسٹ اینڈ از دس دس کیلشیم کلورائڈ اوور ہیئر اور یہاں سے نا بھلے ایک سائڈ سے گیس آ رہی ہے دوسری سائڈ سے گیس باہر جا رہی ہے اور لیٹ سے وہ یہ دیز آر گیس مالیکیولس اچھا اینڈ بیچ میں نا دے واٹر مالیکیولس تو تو پہلے تو واٹر مالیکیولس تھے جیسے وہ اینڈ سالٹ کے قریب جائیں گے نا اینڈ سالٹ وڈ ایبزارب آل دا واٹر مالیکیولس تو دوسری سائڈ پہ نا دا گیس از گوئن بی کمپلیٹلی ڈرائی سو دیٹ از ون وے آف removing water vapors ke okay, use uh, you use anhydrous salts and then there's another way which is uh ek to yoga number one and number two is 
اچھا اٹس نون ایز کانسنٹریٹ سلفیورک ایسڈ از اے ویری گڈ سو کانسنٹریٹڈ ایس ٹو ایس او فور دیٹس اے ویری گڈ ڈرائنگ ایجنٹ ایز ویل See, get, so, so concentrated sulfuric acid. Take concentrated sulfuric acid, so a very strong acid. Uh, conical flask flow is more better. Because it's a gas issue. Hai. So we'll take a conical flask. We'll fill it up with the concentrated H2SO4. Asa, either say a tube will come from here, which is bringing in the gas. that tube goes into and the gas is bubbled through the sulfuric acid okay let me bring this up of the other side the gas bubbles they would be collected and they would come out the other end and this is going to be completely sealed at the top okay so it's as it's going to be completely sealed at the top gas i yahan pe bubbles bane bubbles escape hue and the bubbles would eventually enter this uh, other tube isme khayal ye rakhte hain ki you have to be make sure you have to be sure ke ye draw karna aana chahiye ki matlab jab yahan se gas aa rahi hai na that gas has to be bubbled through the solution of sulfuric acid to jitna bhi water vapors honge na they going to get absorbed in the concentrated sulfuric acid ٹھیک ہے سارے واٹر کے مالیکولس ابزارب ہو جائیں گے تو جسٹ ریمبر دس دیز ٹو پوائنٹس کہ ہاؤ ڈو یو ریموو واٹر ویپرز فرام فرام ا گیس ہاؤ ڈو یو ڈرائی ا گیس یو یوز یو یوز ایدر انائڈر سالٹس یعنی سالٹس نارمل سالٹس دیٹ ار کمپلیٹلی ڈرائی ٹھیک ہے سو دیٹ دے بیکم ویری ابزاربنٹ اینڈ دے دے ریموو آل دی موئسچر اینڈ دی ادر ون از کانسنٹریٹڈ سلفیورک ایسڈ ٹھیک ہے 